Welcome to Borderline Offensive at Rodos 10 in Gothenburg. You're welcome. Humor is a force that keeps us going in very difficult situations. It is a tool of survival. So when we started to work on this project, we decided that we will choose the theme of conspiracies and we will do Museum of Real History. We chose just one conspiracy theory and it is traveling in time, especially of one person that is the youngest son of Donald Trump. And there is actually there is really this conspiracy that he is traveling in time. My role in this project was to illustrate this traveling in time. What you started to do actually is to draw our bodies on the floor and to create a map of our own scars. Like every single year what happened to us and what was happening at the exact same time around the world. And working with intuition we intermixed our personal stories and historical events and conspiracy theory, like Baron Trump, made out of it one body. That was the text, that was the actor present on stage, trying to understand what is his own body nowadays in our present. Yesterday, I stopped killing myself. Yesterday, I stopped being Adolf Hitler, Darwin, Mao Zedong, Marie Curie. Yesterday, I stopped being history to become one with, one with my multiple selves. Prophets of all times, the guest from another planet, the alien who hunts history with his story. In all my different lives, I had a weak stomach. It's like in whatever body I was in, my stomach keeps reminding me that my body is just an ephemeral illusion and can't stick to reality. My blood and flesh have no added value to the collective human or non-human consciousness. I just realized that a few hours ago, in the 19th century. <laughs> if you come into the dark, sitting in the boat, I will make you to tell everything you think about the migration. A technical setup, the infrared projection is really unique. I have even invented the technology that I use in this project. Also, I try to use the Bluetooth technology. I want to get through the personal devices, at least they look like your personal devices, to put the entire conversation on a very personal level. It's a new format for theater or for performance. <laughs> We collect stories from Istanbul to Gettysburg. About the people traveling to from place they were born to some other place. Some stories are sad, some stories are tragic, some stories tell true about the situation in the world today. And some are funny. Yes, no English team there. So we can not be a Swari even if he can be blind. So there he can try to say to himself that the end was so hard. And actually, what we are trying in these workshops to, uh, one, what you already mentioned, to use different artistic and non-artistic techniques to tell the story, but also to somehow, uh, also to, to find the stories which are uncovered, which are kind of hidden in our pockets. Paper puppet poetry project which is ongoing actually we don't know what will happen in the very next step but till now it was collective experience really wild really unexpected and really something you must take part of <laughs> Thank you. 
وينسأل الله تعالى عودنا من تهامه